Welcome to this week's Walter Showroom Update. I'm Zach, and I'm very happy to share with you our subject matter for this week, the all-new Walters Proto GP35 Phase 2 locomotives. We've got production samples here. Uh, so we've got all six paint schemes. We're going to show you those. We're going to run around the track. You get a chance to see them up close and personal. Uh, so we're very happy to have these coming in. They're actually going to be air freighted in. We're going to air freight in all of the pre-ordered units for this locomotive. They're going to come in in April. Um, everything else that hasn't been ordered, we're actually going to ship. They're going to get here in June. So as a thank you to our customers who did pre-order, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be bringing those in for you in April. So we're going to show you those. And then also I've got the brand new Scene Master 45-foot CIMC containers. These are also a brand new tool. So I want to give you a chance to see those, the production samples. Uh, and those are also coming in June. So let's get right to it. About a month ago in this video series, I showed off an undecorated pre-production sample of the Gwalthers Proto GP35 Phase 2. And I was able to point out some of the finer details in the model. And now with these new production samples, you get a chance to actually see what the finished goods look like. So we'll start off with the Santa Fe unit, the blue and yellow freight scheme, which is equipped with the high headlights and the Leslie RSL 3L R horn, and the can style antenna, which is actually behind the cab. And as we pan along the side of the unit, you'll see a coil air filter under the sill, along with two of the four jack pads on this unit. GP35s were either equipped with four or eight per owner. Um, and you'll also see the fuel tank here, which is a 2,700 gallon version. There's the larger 3,000 gallon fuel tank that you'll see later on in one of the other roads. Next is the Burlington Northern and Cascade Green, and the unit is somewhat uniquely equipped with Elko AAR trucks. Up on the cab, you'll see the high headlight whip antenna and Leslie 3F 2R horn. In addition, you'll see a rotary beacon, which is operational. The body's equipped with four jack pads and a 2,700 gallon fuel tank as most of these are. Third in the batting order is the Chesapeake in Ohio. And on the cab is a high headlight whip antenna, a Leslie RSL 3L R air horn. The cab's equipped with sunshades, and under the sill you'll see the two of the four jack pads on this side of the locomotive, and in between is the 2700 gallon fuel tank. And that's followed by this beautiful Erie Lackawanna unit, which includes a high headlight, Sinclair antenna, and Leslie SU3LR horn. And you see this cab sunshades and four jack pads with a 2700 gallon fuel tank. All right, our hometown favorite, the Milwaukee Road, with its high headlight firecracker antenna and Leslie RSL3LR horn. Along the side of this unit, you'll see that it features eight jack pads, four shown on this side, and a 3,000 gallon fuel tank. And finally, the Southern Pacific in the bloody nose scheme with its most unique feature, the five light package with the upper gyro light. And on top of the cab, you can see the Nathan P3 horn and the whip antenna. Along the body, you'll see the four jack pads and the 2,700 gallon fuel tank. So we're going to show you how quiet this thing actually runs when we turn off all the sound. Alright, so we're going to do a real quick demonstration about uh, how the prime mover goes through its various stages. 
I've got the brake on right now and I'm just going to go ahead and rev it up. All right, so one last thing to show you today, we've got the all new Scene Master 45 foot CIMC container production samples. And this is the first production run of an all new tool. We're very happy with how the model turned out. And as you can see, they're painted in very attractive paint schemes with eight in total for the first production run. I've got six of them here today. Uh, and these are a very common style of container that are in use in modern international shipping. And the corrugations on the sides and the ends, and the ribbing along the roof are all very crisply modeled. You'll also notice that the door hardware, uh, the latches are separately applied, all of which gives the model a very nice, realistic, and believable look. Okay, so one other quick note. The IBCs on the bottom of the container, I think you can see them here, and the receivers on the top make them easy to stack and seat inside well cars. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we are going to be air freighting in the pre-ordered units for the GP35. So for those of you that pre-ordered, thank you. Uh, you will be seeing them in April. The rest of you, you'll be seeing them in June in your local hobby shops. Um, they're very, very fantastic models as you've seen, so definitely check them out. Uh, we've also got the Scene Master 45-foot CIMC container coming in June, um, so your local hobby shop is still taking pre-orders on those. Uh, and if you want some more information, we've got pictures up on walters.com where we've got some more information as well. Uh, so that's our show for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Come back in two more weeks and we're going to have brand new Scene Master maintenance of weight vehicles to show you.